Hey guys, I'm CJ and this is TV Pop Culture episode 38. So, unfortunately no one could be here this week either uh, because Cody's sister has just gotten back from South America and she's been away for about six months so he's having a family get together. And well, Chuck got, um, yeah, we're not going to talk about that. So anyways, uh, let's get into some ease mail, shall we? <sighs> Dear TV Pop Culture, I have recently bought the Doctor Who 11 Doctors action figure box set, and I'd like to know if any of you have the same box set as well. Uh, I am, of course, talking about the toys and not a DVD or VHS box set, as you may be aware or may not be aware of. Also, which is your favorite Doctor? Um, well, I can't answer for everyone else, but I can answer for myself. Is that, uh, first off, uh, yes, I do own the box set. I owned it as of last week. Uh, it's sitting over there off camera. Um... I have to say, uh, my favorite doctor, I, I have two favorite doctors. One of them is, uh, actually have the action figure present of, uh, Patrick Troughton. Uh, the other one is, uh, is who I refer to as my doctor is Paul McGann, um, whose action figure is currently sitting on my bookcase, uh, next to his movie. So... And to answer your question, what do I think of it? I think it's an awesome box set, and I, I think they should make one for uh, for all the companions. Anyways, uh, let's move on to the next one. Dear TV Pop Culture, I live overseas in Japan. Oh, wow. Good for you. And I was wondering if you have any favorite Japanese or Oriental artists. If you do, could you please name them? Um, not sure I am, matter of fact, do. Uh, there's Home Kazuku, um, 21, that's two, that's the number two, E-N, and then the number one. Uh, Big Bang, Gapped, I think that's it. Oh, oh, no, sorry, actually one of my new favorites, uh, they're from Korea, BAP, or B-A-P. So, I, I don't know, I, I like their music. Um... Oh, and there's Girls' Generation, but I like them for a completely different reason. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um, so, oh, that's that's disappointing. Only two emails this week. Well, oh well. So, just to remind you guys, the Icon Pass is out until the end of the month. Uh, it is only $45 if you pre-order the Weekend Pass now. If you do not buy it by the end of the month, um... Well, it'll cost you over 50 bucks at the door, so have fun with that. Uh, the Halo 4 art for the Halo 4 box has been leaked again. Uh, this is the official box art. Uh, they've also... Uh, no, this wasn't leaked. This was uh, shown as the uh, 10 art, I think it is, for the uh, Halo special edition or whatever the hell it is and it's really the only physical thing you get is a shiny tin that's pretty much it so if you're easily amused by things then there you go you get a shiny tin uh you do get some free dlc some spartan armor some map packs and that's pretty much it um so recently uh this week Someone managed to hack into a bit of code from Saints Row the Third, and the information was leaked that Saints Row the Fourth is now in production. Uh, there is no release date on when it will be coming up, but chances are it'll still come out before GTA V. Uh, Devils Three is looking to get a new publisher. Um, their last publisher said. In quotes, we just don't feel that the game is what would project our current goal for our company right now. Which is kind of strange, because there's only one publisher and they own the rights to it. But, 
Yeah. I don't know. Anyways. Activision and EA have finally settled their law dispute, thank God. <clears throat> so that ended uh, in the middle of this week. Uh, the whole law dispute was basically Activision saying that EA were was trying to pull out Jason West and uh, Simpala, uh, while they're still under contract, West and Simpala have announced that they do still plan on suing Activision for the millions of dollars that they owe them. So, way to go Activision, you fucked the pooch hard on this, on this one. Anyways, um, Guild Wars 2 uh, has been announced that it will be that is being pushed back till after July. Uh, a specific release date has not been given. All we know is that it's going to be after July. So, in all honesty, you know, as long as it comes out this year, I, I think I'd be fine. I really don't think it would bother me. Um, Captain, Pl or sorry, Cat Planet Cuties. I hate whoever sent me this information. Uh, is now on Blu-ray and DVD for forty-one ninety-nine. It's basically one of those magical girl things. I don't pretend to understand them. I don't think I really want to understand them. And now, many of you uh, may be aware of the Doctor Who video game that's been announced recently. Uh, that'll be coming out on the twenty-fifth. Now, some new information has been leaked about it. First off, there are two new monsters uh, to the Doctor Who video game. The first one is the Cyber Planner, uh, which we got to get a little glimpse of. Um, basically, he just looks like a giant hologram, but, you know, hey, whatever. Uh, the second one is unfortunately unknown. Uh, BBC was kind of like, well, play the game. And that was pretty much it. Um, again, you know, it, it does come out on May 25th. So we have that to look forward to. And our last bit of news is Entertainment Earth has released information that they will be carrying Batman, Star Trek, Star Wars and other pop culture reference cufflinks. So if you are a nerd and also happen to own a dress shirt that requires cufflinks, you can go buy some cufflinks. I don't know. Um, I, I took a look at some of them. They're actually not that bad. Uh, they look really nice. The price isn't too high on it, so other than that, uh, I guess that's really news for the week. Uh, I do have to apologize to you guys because I'm sure I probably sound a little bit bad. Uh, that is because of the fact that my allergies have been kicking my ass all week. So, uh, hopefully, I don't know, hopefully I'll be good by the end of this coming up week and I'll sound normal again, but, yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, Chuck, if you're watching this, yeah, this, just, just a very subtle reminder that, yeah, we need to get that done. So, if, yeah, we could do that sometime, that'd be awesome. Uh, anyways... <laughs> Chuck's going to be raging on me after this. <laughs> you don't know how hard it is. You're right, I don't know how hard it is. That's why you're here. Um, you know, I, can, I, can, I can do this in front of the camera, and there's nothing he can do until he sees this. So, on you, Chuck. Um, yeah, so we are still in the prop. Please bear with us, you guys. I know you've been very patient for this. I know... That we're already in May. I know that this should have been done months ago. But, you know, please 
bear with us. Um, I have scheduled for the first episode of Nerd Radio to be recorded uh, this coming up Thursday, so hopefully everything goes according to plan. Uh, hopefully I can get someone over here. So, I don't know, but, um, yeah, so, I guess until next week, this is CJ by himself again, signing off.